Hello, hello. Today I wanted to show you kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna title this yet, but I wanted to show you like an updated makeup routine, but not like an everyday, like I feel like this is a little bit more glam, but it's not like glam glam, it's just if you wanted to take it that extra step. Like typically I would just do a little concealer and a little powder and call it a day. Like that's kind of my go-to routine. It hasn't really changed much from my updated makeup routine. So I'll use the Jones Road and then the uh, Wet n Wild powder or like a, I'm really enjoying the one size powder foundation right now. So that's kind of my everyday. But like if you wanted to amp it up a notch and like go a little more like man glam or like just a little bit more, more intense, then this is gonna be a routine that would do well for you. So. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna jump right into it. Let's get down to business. First, I already have my skincare, my moisturizer, and my primer. So my e.l.f. Uh, I'm using the, I'm testing out the e.l.f. moisturizer, the one in the blue container. I don't really know if I like it. I don't know if it's heavy enough for me. So I've been trying to kind of use it up during the summer when it's still hot out. But then also I'm using the e.l.f. sunscreen, Unseen Sunscreen, which I absolutely love. You know that. So that's the base that I started with off camera. So we're gonna go right into concealer. We're going to use the Jones Road concealer. I have the shade nine, which might be a little light for me, but in this situation is good because you want to kind of highlight under the eyes. So this is a little bit brighter and I'm just gonna do one side of my face so we can hopefully see the difference. <laughs> if I get to the end of this and it looks exactly the same, I'm gonna be really disappointed, but I don't think it is. I think it's gonna look really good. So we're just gonna do this under the eye and I have a little blemish right here. So we're gonna tap that in with our fingers just to give a little extra coverage. And I have a little mark here, so we'll tap that in. Uh, I typically do two layers with this Jones Road to get the coverage that I desire. It's definitely not like a full coverage concealer because I'm going to be using an actual foundation and powdering the foundation. Like, I don't think that I want like a, a full, full coverage concealer right now. I'm just kind of using all of my favorites. Like I said, this is kind of like an updated uh, makeup routine slash like more glam vibe. You get it, you get it. So now that we have concealer, we're kind of starting to cover up the dark circles. Now, we're going to do the Fenty Blur Stick that I have done a review on. I'm loving this. This is the best foundation for like light makeup or like man makeup. It is light coverage. It's still like, um, it's still like evens out the skin. And I don't know, it's just really good. It's lightweight. I don't really like the packaging, but, uh, Oh, and I got the shade 11. So we are going to take a Sigma Round Kabuki F82, and we're just going to blend this on the face. And I'm kind of going to avoid the area with the concealer because we want to keep that bright. And then if you don't like the coverage, you can go in with like a little bit more. This is definitely buildable. You can start slow and work your way up. So I feel like I want just a little bit more of my nose. And maybe her in the temple, maybe in my beard. Okay, can we tell difference? <laughs> We're not done yet, but we've color corrected just a little bit. We're kind of matching our neck a little bit more. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to use the Alme Loose Finishing Powder. I just did a review on this. I don't know if it'll be up, but I have been digging this. It's a affordable powder. It's like $11 and it works just like the high-end one. So that's the powder that we're going to use. Love the color. Let's see, I got the shade light medium. So we're just going to set everything down. We are blended, we're blurred, we're mattified. So you can definitely start seeing the difference. Our skin tone is even more even. We're starting to hide those dark circles. We're not done yet there but we're smooth, we're blurred, right? We're just looking more fresh. I've been bronzing a little bit and actually what I've been using for my bronzer is the Juvia's Place Powder Foundation because I got a little bit of a darker shade than I should have. And so I've just been using this to kind of warm the face up a little bit to kind of bring back a little bit of structure to my face. So we're going to 
tap into here. I'm using a, I like, I've noticed that I like a uh, duo fiber brush as the Morphe M406. And we are just going to, let me get some room here. We're gonna start right here, go back to the ear, but then we're gonna blend up to the forehead. So we're gonna blend the forehead down the temple and here. See, I got a lot. So we're gonna work this down here on the jaw. We're gonna work it back and forth to give us more structure and just keep blending. And you wanna avoid this area because we're trying to keep this light. Love that. Look, like, look at the difference. I don't know if the lights are like blinding us right now. Now I want to brighten my under eyes just a little bit more without adding like cakey concealer. So I'm gonna show you the product that I've been using to do that. Okay, I initially did not like the NARS uh, light reflecting eye, what is it, brightener? But what I've noticed is if I put this on as kind of my last step, I have the shade of Possible Dream. If I pat this on underneath the eye as my last step, I really like the way that it brightens. I feel like I put on too much. <laughs> We're gonna work it in though. And I just pat it out with my finger and just work it kind of in the inner corner. Like I just like the way that looks. Not done versus done. Structure, balance, brightening. I think it looks great. Uh, yeah, so I hope you learned some tips and tricks from me for a little bit more of a glam look. Not, I mean, this is obviously still very, very natural. If you wanted just to amp it up a little bit more with like the bronzy, uh, effect and the brightener, all that kind of stuff, then these are the steps that you can take to do that. Hit that subscribe button. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you so much for joining me and I will check you on the next one. <laughs>